He's exploring the social marketplace. My name is Andrew Young. I'm just here uh, to give you a quick welcome, um, and then I will introduce Uncle Chicka, who will give us our welcome to country in just a minute. Uh, I'd also like to start by acknowledging the traditional owners on, of the land on which we gather today, uh, the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation, and pay my respects to their elders past and present. As I said, welcome to a very exciting two days exploring the social marketplace. I'd like to start, again, by uh, getting a sense of who's in the room. I've read the list, but uh, some of you may not know. Uh, so I'd like to ask you a few quick questions and ask you to put your hand up if you fit the description. Um, you're welcome to put your hand up several times if that uh, is appropriate. Who here is from or, or starting a social enterprise? How many of you would consider yourselves established? You've been operating for a year or more. How many of you are looking to get established and are in the infancy phase? Who here is a social investor? And you may prefer not to put your hand up, I don't know. <laughs> Very good and great to see you. Better get your hands down quickly. Uh, anybody from uh, a more traditional not-for-profit, if I can put it that way? Anybody from government? A couple of you, I think, may be in transition. Um, uh, anybody from more traditional corporates here? Hard to distinguish sometimes, I know. Was there anybody who hasn't put their hand up yet? Sandy, what are you? <laughs> Any other volunteers who, who put your hand up last and hadn't put it up before? What are you? I, I'm partly deaf and I lip read, but I'm looking straight into a light, so I've got no chance. So a bit louder? Okay, well welcome everybody. A couple more questions in a minute. Uh, I'd like to take this quick opportunity to give my thanks uh, to the sponsors, um, uh, the speakers, the exhibitors, and of course all of you, the participants, and especially the Sandy and the CSI team uh, of family and friends who've worked so hard on putting this event together. One more quick question for you. Are we there yet? Um, I might need to clarify that a little bit. I want to pose the question in a way, what is the purpose of a social investment marketplace, a social finance marketplace? Why are we here? For many of you, the answer to that may well be you're looking to obtain investment in your enterprise, you're looking to place funds if you're an investor. Uh, for others, it may be a matter more of curiosity. But if our objective is helping our country to achieve certain social outcomes, are we there yet? Do we have uh, a marketplace in which, when there is a social need, thriving social enterprises spring up, obtain funding and address that need. On a scale of one to five, really, really early days, five solving the country's problems, where do we sit? Do we have any takers for a five? Four. Three. Two. A couple. And one very much near the beginning, and of course, um, that's, that's evident. But it's an important question, and it's really the reason that I'm here, the reason that CSI is here. I think there are other countries around the world that would argue they are more advanced in development of a thriving social marketplace, or a social marketplace than we are. Many of those are in developing country contexts, and my observation is there are a handful of developed countries who have been at this for longer than us. They're not there yet either. So I think that there is a real need for us, not just in the next two days, but beyond that time, to be conscious not only of your questions, how we can help facilitate, stimulate, encourage and inspire the emerging social marketplace, but keep in our minds as well the systemic question, what is it that we set out trying to achieve? What is our pathway to getting there and how are we doing? Both levels of question are vitally important. So I encourage you to try and keep both in your minds over the next two days, uh, especially even the social enterprises. I wonder if you're feeling nervous with your names up on that marketplace board. Is it competitive? I'm oh, really looking forward to see how the next two days goes. Um, so again, welcome. I hope you have a stimulating um, and productive 
couple of days. Keep asking the right questions um, and uh, look forward to chatting with you uh, here and there over the next 48 hours. Now I'd like to give my very special and warm welcome to Uncle Chicken Madden, um, an, uh, a Redfern elder who will give us our welcome to country. Thank you and welcome. Yes, uh, good morning folks. My name is uh, Charles Madden, known around the inner city as Chicka. That's a nickname I got many years ago, going to Redfern Public School, which is now NCIE, the National Centre for Indigenous Excellence. I've grown up in and around the Redfern area on Gadigal land. That's the land we're on at the moment. I'm a director of the Aboriginal Medical Service at Redfern. I've been on the board there for over 40 years, an ex-director with the Metropolitan Local Aboriginal Land Council, Aboriginal Housing Company, and uh, Aboriginal Hostels Australia. I was fortunate enough to be on the board with Aboriginal Hostels Australia with uh, Charles Perkins, Lois O'Donoghue, Neville Bonner, Tom Calmer, and some of the uh, very prominent Aboriginal people from around Australia. As I've mentioned, I'm from around the Redfern area. I'd like to take this opportunity this morning to extend a warm and sincere welcome to all my Aboriginal brothers and sisters, non-Aboriginal brothers and sisters. Welcome to Gadigal land. Aboriginal land, the Gadigal clan is one of 29 that makes up the Eora Nation. The Eora Nation is bordered by three distinctive landmarks. We have the Orkesby River to the north, and the Peen to the west, and the Georges River to the south. Those three rivers form the boundaries of the Eora Nation. Folks, if you've travelled across this great city of ours this morning, the state of this great country, Welcome to Gadigal land. If we have any brothers and sisters here from the Torres Strait or further afar across the seas, welcome. Enjoy the morning, have a safe and trouble-free trip home. And once again, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, enjoy the morning. 